Hello guys, Silicon Slave here with another quick tutorial for all of you out there in internet land. Today we're going to be talking about making organic squelches out of audio files. So what we've got here, very simple bass, very simple drums. I just wanted to have a little bare bones sort of thing that we can start off with. And from here what we're going to do is we're going to open up the Veggie Violence Pack from His and Roar. Um, if you haven't heard of them, they're a great sample company. I'd highly recommend them. And we're going to grab out this Cabbage Crunch sample here. And we're just going to get one of the little hits from it. So we'll just chop everything up. It's got two minutes of shit, so we don't need all of it. So we got ourselves a little chunk. We're going to shorten that. And then we can just move on to the next sound. Let's grab another one. So this one's more of like a, a chomp, sort of. You also want to consolidate these down so they don't take up so much space because they're really long audio files and it's a lot easier to do it if you just have them as one little thing. As so you can see, by like shortening and, and warping these samples, we can make them fit rhythmically into the thing as perks, whereas before they were long, sort of like <laughs> things. So that's pretty much what we're going to be doing. Is with the bench different tools, we're gonna we're gonna pitch, we're gonna we're gonna warp, and we're gonna change these samples and make them all fit into the song. So we'll go into the envelopes here, change the warping to texture, and pitch it down real quick, and we'll get another sound out. Oh yeah, I like that. That's dirty, dirty dirt. Um, and you know, there's always a lot of trial and error with this. You've just got to sort of play around with them, and because none of the samples are exactly uh, on time, exactly, they kind of they create really interesting rhythms because you get all this swing and, and shuffle effect from it. But you really just have to nudge it around the beat to, and see what kind of fits and what doesn't. And so there's no real right or wrongs here. So it's all just get the sounds, fuck around with them, warp them, and just keep playing. And that's that's pretty much it, really. Um, these are great sounds to work with, but you could do this with almost almost anything. This is a lot of times when I make my effects noises, what I'll do is I'll just get a, a bunch of random effects noises and just do this sort of processing to it. And um, you know, there's no end to it. You can do it on the drums, you can do it on the bass. Um, this is just one example that I like to do specifically with, with glitch and break stuff. So anyway, I'm just going to keep uh, recording the rest of this and um, yeah. Thank you guys so much for um, listening to me, and uh, check out my music at Silicon Slave, Bandcamp, SoundCloud, Facebook, all that jazz. You can get all my music for free, because I love you guys, and music should be free. So uh, on that note, I'm signing out. Good luck.
Peace.